Now, in this question is asking, 4D, 5P, 5F and 6P orbitals are arranged in the order of decreasing energy. The correct option is, now, these are the subshells and we have to find out the energy of the subshell first and that we will find out by N plus L rule. So, let's begin with the solution. So, the solution is, first we have to find out the N plus value. So, it is N plus L value for 4 D we have to find out, 5 P we have to find out and 5 F we have to find out and 6 P we have to find out and for this we have 4 plus 2 is equal to 6, right? In the same way, 5 plus 1 is equal to again 6 and this is equal to 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 and in this it is 6 plus 1 that is equal to 7 means the highest energy is of 5F then 6P and the energies of 4D and 5P according to N plus L they are equal but whenever this happens we always compare the principal quantum number. So, 5P will have higher energy than 4D, right? So, the correct option is option number first. So, the answer is first, right? Let us move on to the next question. So, now in this question is asking which of the following reactions are disproportionation reaction? Now, what is the meaning of disproportionation? It is the oxidation and reduction both simultaneously of a species. Now, option number 1, copper 1 plus is becoming copper 2 plus and 0. This is disproportionation reaction. Second one, if we find out the oxidation number of manganese in manganate ion, it is plus 6. In permanganate ion, it is plus 7 means it is oxidation and in MnO2, it is plus 4, it is reduction. This is also a disproportionation reaction. Now, here in C, it is plus 7, here it is plus 6, the oxidation number and plus 4, oxidation number is changing but it is decreasing. That's why in C, it is reduction. This is not disproportionation, right? And if you talk about D, it is plus 7 and it is plus 2 and they are forming a single species. So, this is obviously not a disproportionation reaction. That's why a and B, the reactions which are disproportionation reaction, that's why the option number first is the correct answer. So, the correct answer is option number 1, right? And one more thing I want to tell you is in this type of reaction which is given in D, plus 7 is the oxidation state of manganese and here plus 2 is the oxidation state and in the product side, it is plus 4. So, this reaction is opposite of disproportionation reaction and this reaction is called comproportionation reaction, right? So, well, our final answer is answer number 1. Let us move on to the next question. Now, in this question is asking, under the isothermal condition, a gas at 300 Kelvin expands from 0.1 liter to 0.25 liters against a constant external pressure of 2 bar, the work done by the gas is. Now, 4 options are given and it is also given that 1 liter bar is equal to 100 joules, right? Let us move on to the solution. So, the solution that is, we know that work done is equal to minus P delta V and what is P? That is P external and if we put the value then the pressure is 2 bar. So, it is equal to 2 multiplied by now delta V is the change in volume final minus initial that is why we will write 0 0.25 minus 
जीरो पॉइंट वन राइट नाउ इफ यू सॉल्व इट फर्दर माइनस टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव एंड इट विल बी माइनस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री बट प्रेशर इज गिवन इन बार एंड द चेंज इन वॉल्यूम विल बी इन लीटर्स दैट्स वाई इट विल बी बार लीटर एंड द रिलेशन इज गिवन टू अस वन लीटर बार इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड जूल एंड इफ इट इज करेक्ट देन वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई हंड्रेड दैट्स वाई इट इज इक्वल टू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाई हंड्रेड एंड नाउ इट इज इन जूल्स दैट्स वाई इट इज इक्वल टू माइनस थर्टी जूल्स राइट सो दिस इज द फाइनल आंसर लेट एस चेक इन विच ऑप्शन इट इज गिवन इट इज गिवन इन द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन दैट्स वाई द आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर वन राइट लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन 